Pastor Zillinger's Daily Devotions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The sermon text from this Sunday, John chapter 10, verses 1 through 18. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens. The sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them. The sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure of speech Jesus used with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He who is a hired hand and not a shepherd, who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He flees because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. And I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life, that I may take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay down of it of my own cord. I have authority to lay it down, and I have authority to take it up again. This charge I have received from my Father. There's a lot of things that are going on in this text. Uh, some of it is to note where Jesus is at and what he's been doing in the context of the Gospel of John. Uh, the first is, is that he's probably around the temple area or in Jerusalem um, because uh, previously he was in Jerusalem and doing some things. Uh, so we think that it ties in with this. And so he uses a lot of analogies about shepherding and sheep. Um, talking first is um, that entering by the sheepfold door, that if you have the authority, if you have the right, if you enter in uh, the correct way, you're the shepherd or you're the watchman or you're part of the flock. Uh, if you're not, you're a robber or a thief for this. There's a gatekeeper that opens, um, and the sheep will follow the shepherd, and the shepherd goes before them, and a uh, stranger they will not follow. So this is kind of an understood thing of like, oh, well, shepherds and sheep are very, very close. They know each other very well. But he's also having a, a subtle point at uh, the people who are in Jerusalem, the priests, the scribes, the king even, uh, the rulers for this, that they're not shepherding properly, that they're strangers, uh, that they are robbers, that they're thieves, and the true shepherd, um, the flock will know by uh, his words, uh, by God anointing him, by God saying that this is the one. Kind of like what David did as he was a shepherd of Israel and a king. And then he used to a different one because they were kind of like, I don't quite understand this. He goes, okay, I'm the door of the sheep. This is uh, more of an understanding of maybe the Jerusalem gate or door where the sheep come in for the temple, but that the sheep are not led to slaughter. The sheep are led to pasture. And then um, talking uh, more about him laying down his life with sheep. He is the good shepherd. Uh, these are all things that we're kind of accustomed to, but really are mind-blowing for the people of the time because they realized that shepherds were lowly. They didn't equate a good shepherd with a good leader, um, whether it's religious or political, and they didn't really equate the Messiah with a shepherd. And so they're looking at this kind of from a different angle. We've heard this over and over and go, oh, yes, Jesus is our good shepherd. But to see how the radicalness of how Jesus Christ, how he does stuff for us, especially how a shepherd would lay down his life for sheep, that doesn't happen. Uh, the sheep are the product for the shepherd. The shepherd would not do that. But our good shepherd does that for us. Uh, he loves us so much that he would die on the cross for us. The Lord bless your day as well as your week.